Hello, people, and welcome to Jim and Dave's Beer Review, episode number 36. 36. Dave, what beer do we have next? We have Blue Point Brewing Company Long Island Toasted Lager. Toasted Lager? Yes. That's good. I like my lagers toasted, sort of like my bread. Yes, toasted. And here it is right there, Jim. Ah, uh, yes. You know, just to show you what we're doing here. Oh, it doesn't show up on TV. It doesn't show too well on there. It's a glass. Toasted Lager, an award-winning flagship brew. Oof, sorry, people. The best thing food. to come out of a brick oven since pizza. Huh? No, basically. Well, we've upgraded our original direct fire brick kettle. Oh. Brick kettle. Direct fire brick kettle. What does that mean? I don't know. I always picture them like these big... Uh, you know, stainless steel tanks with glass linings, you know, yeah. stuff like that. But, mm -hmm. oh, great. A brick kettle, that sounds like it could have uh, it's some... a wheat beer. <gasps> no. See, look at the bottom here. It looks like wheat. Oh, dear. Well, we've upgraded our original direct fire brick kettle, but our flagship toasted lager still has the same toasted flavor it was named for. Copper in color. Our most popular and unique brew is made from six different malts. Including English Pale, Crystal, Munich, Carapels, Wheat, and Belgian Cara Vienna. Wheat. Toasted Lager's balanced flavor of malt and hops makes for easy drinking, and the special lager yeast we use produces an exceptional, long lasting, smooth finish. Available year round, always in the tank. Uh, technical, blah, blah, blah. I'll spare you that this What's time. volume? Alcohol content. Um, 5.5. It's mm, not too not bad. Too bad. Yeah. Uh, it's won a couple of awards. Um, World Beer Cup. Where did all these awards Gold come award, from? Gold Award. Silver Award. Uh, beer Festival. A couple silvers. Every one we, we A bronze beer. from Australia. And Atlantic City Beer Festival. People, you know, we should have our own beer awards. Yes, because it seems every time we read one of these, these labels, it says it's won an award. Every single beer wins an award? Well, no. Like apparently, a, there's a lot of different uh, beer festivals going on, and they all give out different awards. Okay, so, so we should have our own beer festival. Absolutely. We're going to have a beer festival uh, right here in my backyard. Jim and Dave. And you're all invited. Yes. Come on up. We're going to hang out in front of Jim's uh, backyard. In front of his backyard? <laughs> and Buford's Quick Pairs for Toasted Lager says, um, grilled meats. All right, so, you know, barbecue. Barbecue time. Latin America, yes. bratwurst. Ooh. Bratwurst. Bratwurst, yes. Ham, cloud ch clam chowder, hearty seafood, as opposed to unhearty seafood, and barbecue, which I guess grilled meats kind of is barbecue anyway. It's a, it seems like they're stretching it there. All right, anyway, moving along. Look, no head. <laughs> Usually I like head, but not today. I mean, not now. I mean, you know what I mean, right? I hear ya. You only have 20% of your battery left, by the way. Yeah, we got this big dismiss up on the screen. That's all right. Well, it's still recording. It won't show up. Uh, let's see. Government warning. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcohol beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth effects. Two, consumption of alcohol beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's ironic yeah, yeah. that... Um, it don't women shouldn't drink don't it during drink pregnancy, it and yet if they drink too much and they Why you know, you're pregnant. if they drink too much, they can get yeah, pregnant. This won a bunch of awards. Yeah, but, uh, cool. Alrighty, moving right along. Well, this is the last one for the night, but we thank you for watching all our stuff. Please subscribe to our channel. I don't think you know water from it. I didn't put it up my nose. Well, you were scratching. Well, I got ahead with my beer. No thanks to Dave. <laughs> I actually poured it without a head on it. Well, this has a nice color. I like it. It's not, it's not a lemony one. It's not... I think this is a wheat beer, though, because it's kind of wheat, like... If you look on the very bottom, it looks like right here, it's a piece of wheat. Uh, well, that could be any... That could be... It looks uh, like wheat, though. Uh, it looks like wheat. And they did say wheat in, in, in the description. Yeah, well, that's probably just one of everything. We'll see. Craft extremely fresh brewed. All right, fine. Okay, here we go. Um, here we go. Cheers. Excuse me. Um, I 
point three hit me right there. Yeah, I, there's nothing toasted about that. What's supposed to be toasted? Maybe I sure would be toasted when I'm drinking this beer. But if you get toasted when you're drinking it, that's not a benefit. Yes. But yeah, I don't know. It um, when it I smelled it, it didn't have a lot of scent, and no. uh, and after drinking it, it, it was kind of bitter. Uh, uh, oh, I would say this is the worst beer of the night. Hmm. That's my opinion. I, you didn't like the winter stuff. Yeah. That's probably your worst. This is my worst. Yeah, I tend to think that this one, um, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about the Guinness, and it kind of reminds me of like the one I gave a Guinness? six. Really? Well, no, it's just that it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It is kind of smooth. I didn't get a whole lot of a bitter aftertaste. There's not a whole lot of aroma. No. I don't understand what's supposed to be toasted about it. I mean, I'm it's trying to... It's supposed to be toasted when I drink it, is what I'm being toasted for. Yeah, it is bitter going down. Um, yeah. Well, I gave that Guinness a six. That was very smooth. So I'd say this one probably has to be a five oh. for me. Thank God you made it less than a Guinness, my favorite beer. Well, um, you know, like I remember. I try to remember all my various ratings. Now, when we were at the Austin um, Beverage Company today, looking for uh, what we were going to drink tonight, we were talking with. Uh, I guess she's one of the owners, and she had mentioned her uncle, who um, when he, they give him samples, and what he'll do is he'll write it down on an index card, his thoughts about it. And unfortunately, one of the things he said about Guinness was it's just. He said a Dublin sewer water. So he was right with, there with me about the review about that. So I thought Shame this was a guy we might want to uh, meet. But um, unfortunately, we don't write stuff down in index cards. We're sitting here doing it on Facebook, which when I try to remember back on what I did before, it's a little hard, especially when it gets late on Saturday night. And we've been sitting there, you know, beer number six, uh, commenting for the review. I'm not saying including the beers. We drank other beers from the previous weeks that are still left over. So I'm only like my eighth beer at the time, but that still doesn't deter the fact that this is not that good. Yeah. This one's a little disappointing. It says it's a lager. It says it's toasted. I don't see any toast. I'm not catching any lager. Um, I guess, yeah. You know, it's okay, I guess. I mean... I would not turn down... It's not a beer I would turn down. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not as bad as the Sam Adams Wheat. Like, hey, would you like a beer? If someone offered me a Budweiser, I'd say, eh, if I wasn't in the mood for drinking it, I'd say, no, thank you. Yeah. This I would be like, hey, I'll take it. I'm okay with it. It's like, okay, if I have to drink it. Fine, but yeah. Budweiser would be like, no, thank you. Turn that away. Goodbye. So there you have it. Um, five for me. What did you give it? 4.5? 4.3. 4.3? Yeah, man. That just hit me. 4.3. Well, there you go. They're good, man. The number hit me right in the head. I just think, you know, they're decimal choices rather than, hey, but, you know, God bless you. That sounds very exact. A little more exact than mine. I try to think, I think I round mine up to halves. If you want to know about halves, it's a, it's a 4.5 then, I guess, because it's mm -hmm. over 4.2 and a half, so it's a 4.5. All right, I'll accept that. No, I like 4.3. If you're able to do it that exact, well, that's great. It just great. hit me. When I, when I drank the beer and I put it down, I said 4.3. There you go. All right, so there you have it. That is another episode of the Jim and Dave Beer Review. Yes. Good night. Coming up next week, uh, we have no idea. Troggles? Trogs? Trags? Trogs? Trags? Trogs? I mean, you have to look back at this video and say, what kind of beer do I need to get for next week, Trags? Well, that'll work out. All right, good night, everybody. All right. Thank you for watching. <laughs>